Never stop asking questions or digging in the dirt. That's the mindset that Alexandra Hakala had as a child and keeps with her as she works at the National Energy Technology Laboratory as a geochemist. Allie uses her STEM education, that's science, technology, engineering, and math, to dig for an important treasure, energy. And my ultimate mission is making sure that we can get energy, because we need energy for everything. Um, but doing it in a way that doesn't hurt uh, humans or the environment. And a big part of that is understanding water chemistry. Whether it's taking out fluids like oil and gas, putting in fluids like carbon dioxide, or trying to access coal resources, you need some way to track where those fluids travel to protect water resources. Ali works with a team to study and track how fluids move underground and to find out if there's any way they can escape or leak and potentially impact the environment. Ali uses experiments to see how things can happen in the real world. This is pyrite, a mineral, and so we take this and set it up in different types of reactors uh, with different types of fluids, and we see how this rock reacts and uh, releases different elements into the solution. Part of the work we do in this lab, um, we measure some of the changes in chemistry in this glove box behind me, um, but then we also use other instruments around the facility to measure the concentrations of these elements in the water. Ali loves the feeling of discovering the unknown and finally getting that answer she's been searching for. We'll get a huge data set and something that we've collected maybe over three or four years. And it's when you're finally looking at that data set that you have field measurements, um, lab measurements, you've done some modeling to understand some of the basic principles behind things. And it's when you finally see some type of answer come out of that mess of data. It's like this really, ex it, I don't even know, it, it's like the hardest feeling to describe, but that's what keeps me going. You may be surprised to find out that Allie didn't always know she was going to end up as a geochemist. Her parents had jobs that took her from Seattle to New Jersey and farther. Think South America far. Santiago, Chile, to be exact. As a teenager in Chile, Ali attended a summer camp which she says sparked her love for geology. It really gave me an appreciation for the natural environment. And I'd always cared about the environment, but um, something about being in that area, just completely unconnected to anything, really was inspirational to, to make sure that I could understand and help the environment uh, over my lifetime. Ali attended high school in Chile for freshman and sophomore year, climbed a few mountains, and even slid down a few on her snowboard, a sport which she has a few awards in. Look her up, seriously, but that's a different story. Ali came back to the States to attend junior and senior year of high school in North Carolina and then college at Princeton University in New Jersey. She started on a different path, wanting to be a writer. With her love of the environment and for policy making, she changed her education path to better understand what it takes to be able to inform people making decisions in the government. The Department of Geosciences at Princeton had an earth policy focus, and so it was a really nice match to my interest. And it was in doing my senior thesis and having hands-on research that I got really excited about environmental science and, and continuing to pursue research as my career. Allie faced many challenges on her journey through college at Princeton and when she earned her doctorate at The Ohio State University before starting her career at NETL. She had good influences and mentors at all of these places along her journey to a STEM career. Her advice? Don't give up. Find some, if you're interested in something, don't be, dis, don't be worried if it seems hard because if you just keep working at it, you'll be able to get through it. Allie's background story is a perfect example showing you that you don't have to know exactly what you want to do when it comes to bettering the world around you. You just have to know that you want to do something. So, what will you do?